welcome to my day four. My day has already started. I just started the walk as usual and I'm using my route. So, ah. my eyes are a bit heavy because Charlie, if I get sleep, I will. And then I can't sleep. So, let me just go like that. So, yes, um, yesterday was okay. Like I shared in the day three video, today is another day. The only thing is today I have to really focus on being disciplined today because today is graduation day and my friends are graduating. No graduation too in Ghana is like wedding and all those ones. A lot of papayas and all those ones. A lot of caps. I think typically most of our Ghanaian meals tend to base on more caps, have very little amount of veg and then some protein so that's the thing let me get into the light quickly yes. so today i have to really work on the discipline as to really seeing so much things i can't really take in but then trying to still like stay focused that like yeah i'm dieting i'm supposed to be very watchful of what i'm eating so today, I think that will be the main battle for the day. But aside that, I've got a class at 7, so when I get to the room, I have to quickly freshen up and go. And after that is the graduation issues, and I have some few other stuff to do. So I'll keep you updated either way on it. Today, there are two things I want to talk about. One is water intake, and then two is the other one, which is not too pleasant. Yes. Two is about pool. Yes, so um, I've realized that, let me start from the most pleasant, so taking water is good, it cleans your system, but you should know the quantity to take, because too much water too, uh, it kind of can make you feel like a bit heavy, heavy yourself, so I think it's about striking the balance in there, but I think it's recommended, everybody takes at least 8 cups of water per day, and it depends on how physically active you are and your how your body's muscle like processing it so like you're sweating you're perspiring and all those things what it moves or leaves your system how much are we and all those things so personally i love to drink a lot of water i think about um so 500 ml by eight a day is like my normal standard yes i don't know what's normal for you. but there are two schools of thought on this water intake thing a school of thought feels like yes drink enough water drink a lot of water cleanse your system that's also a school of thought which is also saying that if you take excess water like too too much of it too it can make you feel like you're too heavy and like kind of water weight we have uh -huh. so um i think the most important thing is stay healthy stay hydrated because if you're also not feeling hydrated you're going to feel more weaker so on my journey by far Whenever I feel a little too, like, kind of weak or craving, what I do is to substitute it with water. So, like, in the evenings, I go back and sometimes I'm tempted to snack or something. I just drink water and I distract myself and I'm able to get myself to sleep. So, that is one thing about the journey when it comes to water intake as well. You'd have to find yours as well. Now, the other thing is... Ooh, I've realized that hmm, I'm not pulling like that much when it comes to both quantity and quality by far. Maybe it's because there's less my system or something. I don't know the science behind that. Maybe I have to check and then put a finding over there. But that has changed since I started the diet this week. Naturally, I have free bowels every day this one by the time i get back around five six i would have to download <laughs> that is how usually my system works i'm still able to just i'm not i'm not really having that quantity and quality in there so yes that's another thing that i have noticed on my body that is changing and so maybe it may change on yours it may not change on yours just let me know in the comment section what's happening to your pool and how do you feel so much about your water intake do you feel like you are bloating because of the water or do you think the water is okay for you like let me know 
what's working and what's not working at your end and don't forget to subscribe like share and support us yes so i'm going to finish up the journey as usual wear something bright which is good in the life feel comfortable and then go your face <laughs> but today the goal is to be better off than yesterday and so i should get better of results within the kilometers or the hours i spend on the road so that's what i'm going to do and i'll keep you posted see ya Turning to my end, yeah, that's where I'm going right now, and it's virtually after 5 30, so there are more cars, more folks up the road. Yes, but I think today I feel better. I've not stood at anywhere and I'm not itched like, yes, and I think my speed is just a little bit better than the days before, so it only gets better with consistency. Yes, you do, do you anchor. Um, your pace so today so I used I've been using the same route I started with on Monday so it's been the same route I've been going which is like a four kilometer plus route yes I'm just trying to get my body used to it for a while then by weekend or by next week I change my route so I'm going to go a different route which will be longer so that I can have more distance as well and that's also good when it comes to safety because if you use the same route all the time people can just pick you out as well so that's what i'm going to work on in the course of the week or next week as well so i'm using the same route for now but i'm going to change it in the subsequent days to give me more mileage and then for my own safety as well for someone tracks you that yay this girl is always out here yeah, around this time and then bah, you are going so yes so i'm working back to my end i'll keep you updated as to the mileage i did once i get there as well today again because it's graduation lots of cars also around and there'll be traffic later in the day so uh -huh. i'm still enjoying the beauty of the early morning vibes as well yeah so i'll see ya don't forget to subscribe like and share so I just got inside. Let me see how many miles I did. Let's see my progress. Whoa, I did 4.3 in 55 minutes. Ooh, go me. So yes, I think it's I, like I said, it only gets better with time. I've been doing 60 minutes and plus since I started. So I think that's good in the and consistency pace. So. I keep you updated. Go up this lady. Hi, so it's dirty. We're going to take a bowl of soup. Yeah, this is a bowl of soup I'm going to take this today. I'm going to take a bowl of soup. That's a bowl of soup. For starters, because it's graduation day, I don't be tempted. So, yes, I'm just going to start with a bowl of soup. Let's go. So, this is a 500 ml bowl, oh, I think. It's a 500 or 350. It's just soup. Hi family, today I'm in darkness. ECG has taken its light away. So it's light out at my end. I just got in yesterday. Mm. Okay, so like I made mention, it was graduation day and yes, tempting to do diet on graduation day. So yes, I, I took um, series. I took one cup of it, 500 ml. I took malt as well, and I took spring rolls. I took about four pieces of those, and then I took a little bit of rice, about three tablespoons, um, three tablespoons, and I chewed chicken. Yes. So aside my granola soup, I took this morning. I took the spring rolls. That was around two. Yes. And then I took the malt um, in the evening. That was around 5:30. So yes, today dear, I've taken more cups in there and then I've straight. So just like sometimes we backslide and we go back. I'm going back to my diet tomorrow. 
I was planning to actually rest a little bit tomorrow and then avoid the work and then work on Saturday. But I think I just have to work tomorrow as well. Then I work Saturday and Sunday as well because today, day, like I went off guard, small pain. By the end of the day, I think I was a bit more conscious and because I still feel more full when I eat now, I, I'm not eating like so much at a go because technically, do I like rice, Jolo? I could have eaten more than that, but I realized when I started, I just felt full early and my conscience was tricky tricky me a bit. So yes, I had to dodge that a bit more. So yes, that was mostly it. But I think I did a bit of walking, walking, like going from one place to the other. And so I am going to share that on the, I'm going to record um, that session, show the screen recording for my activity by far for the day and yes i think it's been a good day yes most importantly i i tried it was very hot today so i did well with my water as well and today one thing i did um, was i took just warm water yes today it was just warm water usually i've been taking more cold water because i like cold water but then today i did more of the warm and i realized i was drinking more so i took about six years before i got into my room and i took another one once i entered the room so yes that's been my day today yes and i'm virtually coming to watch my movie and sleep right now but it was a good day and i think um like i made mention in the morning consistency is key and so i'm going to just keep up the good work and hope that tomorrow i do better like the four kilometers i should be able to do it less than 50 minutes or maybe 50 minutes because i did like almost 55 minutes so I'm just going to work and get it better in there. I hope you've already liked the video. I hope you've already subscribed and I hope you are sharing it as well. Yes, and there are lots of things that are coming up. So yes, stay glued and then watch my diet or my weight loss session as well. And wait for my before and my after. You will see me shy. <laughs> cha cha. That's all now. Let's see my app. I've signed off my data, but let's see. It works without internet as well. That's a good thing about this app. So yes, I've done 11 kilometers today. Um, that's a lot of move time because I was spending a lot of slow walk in there, but that's not bad. So yeah, I had a lot of cups, but I did a lot of walking, so <laughs> that's fair enough. <laughs>